there's as much risk to do nothing as there is to do something. So um, um, businesses are being um, decimated by other businesses that have adopted um, disruptive technology and brought to market a new business model, a new market niche, whatever. Um, and you've seen music, just music stores have gone, right? You're, the the self-driving cars and the Uber, you know, automobile manufacturers are the ones that should be worried, not te just taxi drivers, right? And these are fundamental secular shifts. So, um, so now you say, okay, so all oh, right, then I should go do this disruptive technology. How am I going to do that? And um, <clears throat> you know, I've always believed that there is a safe place to do everything. What your job is when you're thinking about deploying it is are you, are you deploying it in a safe place first so that um, you can scale it quickly? You learn enough from a small deployment to move quickly. Um, and that deployment could be your end users, your customers, much, much more today than ever. Um, the end users involved in the creation of the technology or the service. And you're going to see that continue to grow, whether it's in the maker community or whether it's user-centered in innovation, um, that what we're consumers are now part of a maker community that, that helps you build better products. So, and I'm, I am the CIO, so I do have to mention cybersecurity. Um, and all this Internet of Things comes with a, um, you know, a concept around data, who owns the data, um, that is not completely rationalized in the world today. Um, there's lots of movement to protect it, uh, but ownership of it and who, who, who has the right to monetize that data, it's not all rationalized yet. Um, those are some of the big challenges, though, that get to be figured out in the next decade.